go down to our coaches convention. He's right there at every meeting. He's not one of those guys that, uh, you know, just goes down to Florida and, and uh, hangs out by the pool. He's there at every meeting. He wants to grow as a coach and he wants to try to take care of the game and do what's right for college hockey. I've learned a lot from him and working with him. And so, you know, all, all these years in the different capacities, uh, I, I've enjoyed the um, input that he's given. He's passionate about the game. He's been a big contributor to the game. And that's what you look for, at least I look for in people, is not what you take from the game, but what you give to the game. I started coaching college at Alaska in the CCHA, so I had the opportunity to uh, compete against Coach Berenson several times. And uh, for me, they're all memorable. Um, I love the intensity of him. I, I obviously respect tremendously the success that he's had, but he's... Uh, He's fun to compete against. He's been on both sides of it, coaching and playing, so uh, a lot of his players can connect with him. And you know, even though he is a little bit older, uh, he still knows how to get through to his players. And everything that he says when he's in the locker room, I mean, those words carry weight, and I think it's something that the players can hold on to. 30 years and counting for Red Berenson, and no, there are no pool trips to Florida for Berenson. It's a canoe up in Saskatchewan. You're going the other direction. Disappointing year for Michigan last year, 18 and 19, though. Guptel's back, Nieves is back, Mac Bennett is back, though they'll have to solve some issues on that blue line. No Jacob Truba, no John Merrill. So as you look at Michigan, Fred, what do you see in terms of what Red Barons needs to be different from last year or the same as last year to get back to the success that he built for so many years in Ann Arbor? Well, we know Michigan can score. Michigan can always score, starting behind the bench with their coach and then Brian Wiseman and Brandon Morrison and Kevin Porter. It goes on and on. They've got Alex Guptill, who scored 16 goals each of the past two seasons, and then tremendous depth down uh, the center ice position with Boo Nieves and Andrew Kopp. And Kopp's quite a story. Uh, last year was the first year he was able to devote himself fully to hockey. A couple of the season before that, uh, he was a high school football quarterback, passed for a Michigan State record 557 yards uh, and seven touchdowns in one game, and he had an outstanding uh, freshman season. So, Michigan can score, but how will Michigan defend? That always seems to be the question, especially since they lost Jacob Trubin, and John Merrill. They'll both play in the NHL this year and Lee Moffey. Well, Mac Bennett will provide good senior leadership along with Kevin Clare. And the key for Michigan is going to be in goal with Steve Racine, struggled last season. Red Berenson attributes that to the fact he had off-season hip surgery. Racine is healthy now, he's in shape, and if he gives them good goaltending, Michigan can take off again.